Hello there! Welcome to my video and my channel. My name is Anna and I'm a lover of all things costume basically. I love makeup, wigs, costumes, glitter. I like dressing up and one part of that is wigs. And very often I have people ask me, how do you get this in inside inside the wig? It's I don't have super thick hair, but it's certainly not thin and it's real long. So in this video, I'm going to show you the basically two different ways that I put all of my hair up into my wig. So first off, let's talk about very important for long hair. You want this, not this for what I'm doing. These are so much stronger and I'll show you it's if you're putting up big sections at a time, these are much superior. If you have something heavy, these are just stronger. Um, I believe I got both of these at Sally Beauty Supply. I'll see if I can find them on the website um, and, and put a link to those, but I love these. Also, I don't even have any of the kind that I don't like, but these are much easier to get into your hair. They slide in much easier. There are some bobby pins that have a, like a little that goes out like that. I find those very hard to deal with. Um, I'm not someone who really opens them up when I use them. I, I more just push them in and I find that that works best for me. The first one I will only do if I'm going to be wearing a wig for five minutes, if I'm literally just taking a photo, shooting a quick photo, or trying a wig on to see what it looks like, which I haven't been actually wig shopping other than just online in a year and a half. So the first, the first method that I do is for just five minute, put it, put the wig on, see what it looks like, maybe take a photo. And what I do, So gather it all up and try to keep it as flat as possible. And instead of putting it on top of itself, put it around. And I'm not twisting the very first bit, twist a bit. And then with the big guys, just sticking it in from all directions. And I basically just put enough pins in to hold it so it's not gonna like come down. I don't need to be doing aerobics in this or skateboarding or whatever <laughs> um, because my wig cap is gonna hold that on. And I don't bother with these either, like who cares? They'll, they'll just go back in, in the wig cap. So. So in case you're wondering, this is This is called Indie Waves. It's a forever young wig. I like that brand. They don't look real. If you want a wig that's gonna look real, I'm probably not the person to be giving you advice because I like wigs to look like a wig, so I'm a character. Um, anyways, so after I put this on, I trimmed her bangs yesterday, so hopefully that stays. Oh, by the way, this is the color 613. It's a pretty common blonde color for wigs. All right, bangs. I really did trim these yesterday. This wig is got some long bangs. Okay, so I don't know if you can tell this, but when I turn to this side, I have, like, you can kind of see the, like, it's maybe a little silly. And 
And it also leaves a, like a weird bunchy bit right here, kind of. I don't know. It's also not, it's not the most, I guess it's okay comfortable, but I feel like this isn't the most ideal way to have a wig. Especially, I think it might pull it back a little bit. Anyways, it'll totally work for a photo. The wig is on. My hair is not showing. I guess now that I'm looking at it, it's not that bad. But I do feel like it looks like I have a hump on my head. I don't know. Which, hey, if you're going for that, I have no problem with that. But it's not what I want, usually. And also, I don't know, it just feels sort of cattywampus. <laughs> Another way, and this is so easy to take out as well. Very much few pins. Cool, cool, yay. So, easy, peasy, and look at that. I didn't have it on long enough to mess up my bangs, too bad. Okay, so this is what I will do if I'm gonna be wearing a wig for an actual event, for a gig, or for a party, what have you. And I find it's more comfortable for me to split it in half. Why won't it go in half? It's like, no, I don't want to. <laughs> Why is my hair fighting me? It's fine. It doesn't, uh, whatever. Just main point is, so I'm going to be basically doing 4,700,052 little tiny ones of that big thing I did on the back of my head for the first one. And that's why I don't do this if I'm just doing a photo. But when I'm doing the smaller clumps, they're actually smaller than these. So I use the little guys. And basically I just start at the top and I'll take, in the front, this is kind of the most important for me. I like to do two right here and two right here. If I didn't have bangs, I might do six. I might do one, two, three. But because there's so little, it's gonna make it small because they're short, I just do two. I find it's more comfortable to have them here and here and it looks a little bit more balanced. If I put one right here, and you'll see what I'm talking about in a second. If I put one right here, I feel like it pulls the wig a little bit weird to the front of my head and it's uncomfortable a and b it looks funny so i always go with the two different sides and what i do is i take a section of hair about like so it's gonna depend on your hair thickness and length how much you're gonna want to do i take two fingers Sometimes three, but in the front I have to do two. In the front I do two because my bangs are so short. And I just wrap this around there, trying to get my bangs in there. And then take it off my fingers. So I have like a little round, it's hard to see. I'm gonna put the pins in and show you after. And usually I just need two but just throw it in there. And then, so the point of this one, or the end of this one is here, so I'm gonna go about 90 degrees so that the bobby pins cross each other. Oh my gosh, I just put that in wrong. Okay, I know what I'm doing, it's fine. So as you can see, it's basically the same thing that we did back here, but just very much tinier. Okay, so I'll show you again quickly, or in, in real time. Take 
that. Two fingers. Wrap it around. It's a little awkward with my bangs. Why am I wearing rings? That was dumb. Ow. Don't wear rings. Don't wear rings. So you can see the bobby pins are in a crisscross shape. They're like crossing each other and that helps hold them, hold them in place. And again, we're gonna put a wig cap on so they do not have to be perfect, but you do want them pretty secure. So I'm gonna do the rest of my head. I have very thin fronts here, so I can take this whole section And I don't, I'm not fancy with like a comb or anything for the separating. Just take, take what works. And then for the rest of my hair, I might use three fingers. Sits to my head flatter. <laughs> Anna, learn, learn. Taking off my ring. And this. That one's not gonna be a problem. Okay, so starting that again. Three fingers this time, wrap it around. Push it into my head. With this one, I wanna keep it away from my ear because if that sits on my ear right here with the bobby pins and such, it's gonna be real uncomfortable. So I try to keep this one up closer to like this one. All right, and so I just wanted to show you for this next section, and then we'll just speed this all up. I try to sort of, um, I can't think of what that's called, uh, stagger them, stagger. Chink, chink, chink. Like in like triangular patterns. So here, 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 and so on and so forth. So I'll kind of show you, I'll speed this up, but I'll show you which sections I take. Also, I wanna interject here. Um, generally, most people have the most hair on top of their head, like the densest hair, and so I usually take the smallest sections on the top so that they are as flat as possible, and then once you get into the back, it's not as thick and you can take larger sections, but I'm just taking a fairly small, in fact, that's probably a little big. As you can see, it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, this will be fine. These like little things coming out will be fine inside the wig cap. The one thing I'm going to change though, this is like sagging onto my ear and I know that's gonna be a problem. So I'm just gonna redo that one. And you'll want things to be pretty if it's tangled, it's a little harder to work with. Okay. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again.
or just do something else. <laughs> so as you can see, it's not by my ear. Yes. This one, this one will be okay. So, get my weed cap on. Also, I guess I should say this before I put this on. I try to put these very close to the front so that the wig has something to pull on. Um, so it's not, like if this is flat here, all the way back to here, the wig might fall backwards. This kind of helps keep it where, where I want it to be anyway. Okay, so you can see those little hairs. Those little hairs that were back there are new big deal. All right. This will also keep the wig cap on having those right there. So as you can see, it's much more um, lush or similar routine. What is the word I'm looking for? Even. It, it's just more even. I, I'm not as lumpy. Okay. I think that's okay for now. I think it's actually on better. When I had it on before, it was like further back on my head. And so the bangs were a little bit better length. E. 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 Okay. Okay, there we go. So hopefully we can see, and maybe I'll try to get some stills side by side, but I don't have any lumpy, weird bumpiness. I think if I show you this, I don't have that like hump on the back of my head here. It's all very evenly. I mean, yes. Is it bigger than my head? Yes. However, my hair, my real hair just sits so straight and flat to my head that I kind of like this because it's like, ooh, she has body. She has more volume. Volume, that's what I was looking for. So I like it better this way. And if it feels much more secure, you have to be careful. Sometimes wig caps will be too small for this. And to be honest, I just avoid wearing those. My I, I like having long hair. And so I have to have a bigger cap. I find that kind of average size is fine. Um, I think they usually leave some room for that. And then they have the little straps. What I was gonna show you is wig caps, the ones that I usually, almost everyone I've ever had has these, um, if it's over like $10, $10-$15, they have these little adjustment straps and you can take these off and tighten them or Do them looser and that way you can actually make the wig cap you know that much smaller so you can take out like four inches or whatever so I think usually they do make them a bit on the large size so that you can either put your hair in there or they do make smaller ones like if you're if you don't have hair and you're wearing a wig because you want hair um, there's various, you know, everyone wears them for a different reason. I tend to like normal to or average to larger size wig, wig caps because I can fit all my hair up in there. All right, well, that was sort of my quick and easy how I get all of my hair up in this wig. I hope you found this video helpful. If so, please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Um, or if you just liked watching me fumble around bobby pins, that's fine too. Thumbs up. It's great. I appreciate it. Or just if you're nice and want to support me in my channel. Um, I'm pretty new here, so if you would subscribe, if you want to see more about wigs, makeup, those kind of things, sparkles, you know, whatnot, then yeah, join, join me in my journey.
and I will hope to see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye. I fell in love with the first time.